Have you ever experienced fear when trying something new or adventurous like swimming or swinging on a large merry-go-round? I am aware that everyone has experienced terror when engaging in some sort of activity more than once in their lifetime. So, here in this chapter we are going to study about the story his first flight which gives an account of a young seagull who is afraid to fly. The story goes on to show how eventually with his mother's help the young seagull conquers his fear and completes his first flight in triumph. Let's see what happens. In his first flight by Liam O'Flaherty the young seagull stood alone on the ledge. A day ago he had watched his brothers and sisters take their first flight. Though their wings were shorter than his, they had run to the brink and then jumped. His mother and father called to him shrilly, threatening to let him starve if he didn't jump. But he was afraid to jump. It was such a long way down, and he was sure his wings would never support him. So, now he was alone on the ledge under the blazing sun. He hadn't eaten anything since last night. All morning he had watched his parents flying about with his brothers and sisters. He had seen his older brother catch his first fish. They had also teased him all morning from their perch on the opposite cliff. It was very hot and the seagull was very hungry. He walked to the edge of the cliff and pretended to be asleep, hoping his family would notice him. But his brothers and sisters were sleeping. His father was cleaning his wings. Only his mother noticed him. Now and again she would tear a piece of fish and then scrape her beak on the stone to sharpen it. Seeing this, the young seagull, mad with hunger, let out a cry. He wanted a piece of fish, but his mother dismissed his cry. He cried and begged again. Then he screamed with happiness when he saw his mother flying towards him with a piece of fish. But she stopped near his ledge. The piece of fish was just within his reach. The young seagull jumped forward to snatch the piece of fish. He screamed as he fell. Terror seized him. His heart stopped, but it only lasted for a minute. Then his wings spread. He felt tips of his wings cutting the air. He wasn't falling, but soaring in the wind. He no longer felt afraid. Flapping his wings, he flew upwards. His family joined him, emitting loud screams. Forgetting that he had been afraid to fly. The young seagull now duffed, curved and soared in the air. He was close to the sea now. His family were already on the water and called for him to land. The young seagull did so. His legs sank into the water. Frightened, he screamed and tried to rise. Then his belly touched the water. He was no longer sinking, but floating. His family now praised him, bringing him bits of fish. Thus the young seagull, with his family's help, overcame his fear and accomplished its first flight. You may now better appreciate the small seagull's dread and the delight he felt when he overcame it. Because you have all overcome your fears at least once in your lives. Now that you have a better understanding of the lesson, his first flight, it is time to put your fresh knowledge into practice. In exam, passages often come from these stories, and you must identify the title of the story just from its lines in order to write it down. The name of the author is also questioned in the MCQ question that is based on the story's lines. You should practice different MCQ questions from the passages. Also practice long and short answer questions separately, which are asked in your exams, and for that take the tests on Eduref, and review the detailed summaries of this story, and much more that is available only on Eduref.
all the best and thank you for watching the video